All right, guys, it's Jernigan here. We're going to be playing some more news on how many deaths they've got up in the UK. They reckon 10,000 more people died, which is very sad. I wasn't feeling too well in myself yesterday. I do apologise, guys, but that's just the way it is. We have a battlefield hardline jumper. Um, that's all I can say in this video for now. I'll talk about it a bit more after I've done this in another video, how, how I felt yesterday. But anyway, let's play the video. Down in Downing Street, here is the Health Secretary, Matt Hancock. Coronavirus and the work that we're doing as a government to tackle it. I want to briefly to update you about the Prime Minister's condition. It's great news that the Prime Minister has been discharged from hospital and is now continuing his recovery at Chequers. I hope everyone has seen his message of love and thanks to all those who've supported his recovery and to the NHS colleagues who cared for him so brilliantly at St Thomas's Hospital. I know that they have cared for him as they would care for anybody in this country. And it's one of the things that makes me so proud that the NHS is there for us all and can give its very best to every single person and has been able to throughout this crisis. I know that all of his thoughts are with those affected by this illness. And of course the government is working constantly through our coronavirus action plan. And the aim is to protect life and to protect the NHS, both by slowing the spread of the virus to flatten the curve and by ensuring that the NHS is always there for you and always has more than enough capacity to meet the demands that are placed on it. Today marks a sombre day in the impact of this disease, as we join the list of countries who have seen more than 10,000 deaths related to coronavirus. The fact that over 10,000 people have now lost their lives to this invisible killer demonstrates just how serious coronavirus is and why the national effort that everyone is engaged in is so important. According to the most recent figures, 282,374 people have now been tested for coronavirus. 84,279 have tested positive. Across Great Britain, the number of people admitted to hospital with coronavirus symptoms is now 19,945. And of those who contracted the virus, 10,612 have tragically died. Our sincere condolences are with all of them, with their families, their friends, their grief is our grief. And their stories will not be forgotten. On Friday, I said that staying at home this Easter weekend would be a major test of the nation's resolve. And I'm pleased to say that the nation is rising to this challenge. I know that for some people this has been extra tough. If you're at home with uh, children, if you can't visit relatives because they're shielding, if you're unable to go to church on this most important day for Christians, your steadfast commitment to following the social distancing rules is making a difference. Thank you for the part that you are playing in helping to protect lives at this critical time in our nation's history. But we cannot be complacent, not when there's so much at stake. So please keep going. Stay home, protect the NHS and save lives. Today I want to provide an update on the work we're doing to slow the spread of the virus and to build capacity. The latest figures show that in Great Britain, we have 2,295 spare critical care beds, up 150 from yesterday. So throughout this crisis, with all the challenges that we've been dealing with, all the operational difficulties and all of the logistics, we have always been able to provide the very best of care to everybody who needs it through the NHS. At the start of this crisis, people said that the NHS would be overwhelmed. And we've seen that, 
and we've seen the risk of that elsewhere, but not here. And that is because of the action that a huge number of people have taken. The incredible work of so many. There is more spare capacity now for critical care than there was when coronavirus first hit our shores. And this is before the Nightingale hospitals come on stream. London's opened and we're already in the process of building six more around England. This critical expansion is partly because we have a record number of ventilators, 9,775, and partly because we have record numbers of returners coming back and rejoining the NHS. Over 5,000 former staff are now back on the NHS front line, and over 36,000 have come forward to enlist. And this bolstered capacity has been backed by substantial financial support. As the Chancellor has said, Whatever our NHS and vital public services need during this time, they will have. But of course, there's always more that must be done. So we're increasing the amount of PPE, and I'm glad to say that there are now record amounts in the system. And we need the right amounts of medicine too. And I can assure everyone that we're working very closely with the pharmaceutical supply chain and hospital pharmacies so that the right medicines are there to treat people and I'm glad to see the reassurances that have been provided today that everybody can have the medicines they need in order to get the care that they need. Well guys I hope you all enjoyed that video it was Matt Hancox that spoke about the people that died more sad news of the UK of the coronavirus very sad 10,000 and Something, I can't remember the number, what he said, six or something. Um, thank you for joining me from this video. I shall catch you guys in the next one. Peace.